Okay, this is my movie theater. I just wanted to go over it again. Uh, I have a little better camera. I'm thinking the other one was a little low light, so I'm hoping this is a little better. So as you walk in, this is the sign, this main sign I made. Um, yeah, it's just kind of a cool little add-on to look at when you walk in, give the little theater look. All right, so here is the bubblegum machine. It's kind of cool. 25 cents, you can put different candies, random candies in it. Over here I have an additional shelving that I can put movies. This is part of what I had in the game room. I just wanted to take it. I didn't want to get rid of them, so I just put them in here until I need more space. All right, so this is the left surround sound speaker. And this here is a bar I have set up. This can seat two. And this bar is cool because you can have you could eat back here if you want while you're watching a movie so it's a kind of nice thing to have as, as the movies playing you could watch you could watch movies have a little snack these are adjustable stools two of them back here okay so this is looking at it from the rear. Now my projector is a Sony projector. At the time, it was one of the better ones. Um, it was one of the first HDMI's actually at the time that it came out. So it has a really good picture. It does max out at 720p. So that's going to be one of my next things that I that try to upgrade this because even though it still looks good, the black levels are good, it's not up to today's standards. It does S-Video, component video, analog, and HDMI. Now, I've also in the past I've had hooked up different consoles I had my Xbox hooked up to this you can have your old school consoles hooked up to it which is really cool it also has an input for computer input the VGA I believe it's called and you can add that which I've had my computer laptop hooked up to this so that's kind of a neat thing to be able to have too okay so on the side here this is just another shelf for some more videos or whatever these are the pillars the surround sounds are built in flush to the sides and then the lighting now another thing that I also did was I took and used these pillars as a way to hold this the uh, curtains up so they also are a, a point of uh, mounting for these curtains and the curtains are put in because it just gives you a much better acoustic sound because if you have a hard wall the sound's going to bounce off and you're going to get echoing so by having this curtain and the ceiling with this acoustic tr acoustic panels it's a lot better with the sound all right so the the rear seats here this is a leather recliner and you can see also underneath I have lighting because when it's dark in here you know it would be pretty easy to fall it's pretty dark and so we got the, the back seats here the front is a total of two three four five six seven you could fit nine pretty comfortable um, if you want to get a little closer on the couches, maybe 10 in this theater at a time. The screen is a 100 inch diagonal. This, this screen I actually made, this is called Gator Foam. And basically what it is, is it's half inch. It's a half inch material 
um, it's like a hard clay face with a light foam core structure. And the way I did that was I built a frame. I don't know if you could see it from the back, but there's a frame back there that is attached to the wall. I'd say three inch standoff. It you know extrudes from the wall about three inches. And then that's just a, a, a frame that's smaller obviously in, in dimension than the screen. And then on the edge of that, and now that frame is made out of three quarter or I believe either half inch or three quarter MDO, basically on edge. If you can imagine a frame made out of that, out of MDO or plywood it can be on the edge and there's cross members that are then screwed to the sides that can be screwed to the wall and then the face of the velcro I mean the face of the MDO or the plywood or whatever you're going to use has velcro on it so one side has velcro and then the screen has velcro and now we're talking a full strip all the way around and in the middle there's another support in the center so Imagine a square frame with a center support velcro around the perimeter and up and down the center. And basically I laid this face down, squared it off, measured it, taped it out. And then when you put the frame on the wall, I made spacers on the top so I knew that I was in the right distance. Like you put a piece of wood or whatever, whatever that distance is. That might be, I don't know, um, a foot foot smaller than this and then when you center it up you have no visual hardware which is the whole purpose of that so you, you just see a screen but with no hardware showing at all now the speakers are NHT these do have a built-in sub on the side and these are pretty nice speakers these sound amazing I was lucky enough to get these off a buddy of mine he um he got a new system and he had these in his basement so that worked out well. Now these speakers here, these are actually part of my outside. When it's warmer out, I entertain outside. We got a pool and stuff so I'll have these. They have the tripod. So these will these will be standing up and then this is the power supply for that. This is actually, you can do all the different things there. All the different adjustments you can hook a mic to it um, this does CDs and also I hook my iPad or whatever type of iPod you want to hook and this thing will rock I'll tell you what it's pretty nice all right so then the center speaker is on one of those floating shelves so there's a part that mounts in the back you see no hardware there so that mounts on there. This is the other front speaker. So I got four pillars all together. And like I said, if you look up there, you can see where the pillars mount for the curtains. And then the, 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 the lights on the sides. All right, now these two chairs in the front, they kind of like rock. They rock and then they, they turn. They don't, I mean, they, they recline and they rock. And then they have the foot ottomans. So this one here has the foot ottoman, but these, these two chairs here do not recline. So this is kind of a nice view from the front, from the screen. You can see here everything. This is a one car garage. So I forget the exact dimensions. I wanna say 30 deep, maybe 17 foot wide, I forget. I could be wrong about that dimension. Now recently I just had a new heating and air conditioning unit in here, which is nice because before this side of the game room was always either cold or hot based on the time of year but now I have central system in here so it really makes it nice and it's, an, it's a much more even temperature throughout the whole whole place. Alright moving back here 
This is where I keep all my movies, my Blu-rays, and I have some of my video game boxes. Um, I want to put some more of these in the game room side, but I don't have I don't have it set up yet for that. So I got some old game boxes in here. Got a ghost. This is the Elite Pioneer receiver. Um, basically, if you go to a Best Buy and they have the Magnolia department in the back, this is where I got this. And this is kind of cool because it has a mic. So when you're trying to synchronize with the speakers, you put the mic basically in the center of the room and you leave the room and it kind of measures all of the distances of each speaker which is cool and it controls the volume to make it the most optical sound uh, optimal sound from the center of the room um, so this does support 7.2 and it sounds pretty amazing I must say in this room with the acoustic treatment that I have in these speakers it sounds every bit as good as if you go to any movie theater now blinking in the back that's my modem and phone pretty much all my movies I run off of my PS3 because you know I use it as my blu-ray player I also play games on here I do want to start bringing in my other consoles um, I want to put maybe a 360 back in here and do some old gaming but once I believe once I get my new projector then I'm more likely to do that down there is the cable box and I don't know why I have all them wires back there but I need to straighten that out and then this is actually an NHT amp that came with those speakers but I don't actually use it at this time because I don't really need it with that receiver um, because I do have two subs I got a clip I believe that's how you say it there and then my other sub is here this is an infinity between the two of these I have plenty of bass plenty of bass now as far as this whole concession stand area this whole marquee looking thing back here I got this off a of buddy this was actually a, a, a really big entertainment system um, it wasn't really intended to be made the way I have it basically this guy was selling his house and he had this in piles on the floor and initially you see this shelving here this was turned horizontally and then in the game room I have two mirrored shelving that's I use for my liquor I only have one in here but there was two so one on each side and then this bar you can kind of see the detail in this bar it's like a marble it's a really nice finish basically these were the doors and this had a motorized machine that would kind of close in front of the screen a TV screen and then it would slide out of the way from the left and right and so all those components these were like part of the doors so I built this bar out of parts of that and then I took and I kind of structured this frame out of this now these pillars here these are these are all one piece this up right here and these are shelves that come out and you can put movies in here you can see some random loose ones in there that I have but you could store a lot of movies now I don't really use it that often because I like to display them but if you ever got into a crunch where you're, you're running out of time or if you have like seasonal like you see down here I have some holiday stuff you know I could put them in there until the time of year that you need them so it is an, an option to have some more storage or you could put something else other than movies in it whatever you would want so here is the film strips now these are made out of PVC I have a CNC router that these were routed out of and then I did the large format digital printing 
basically for the images what I did was I go on wallpapers and I downloaded um, high resolution wallpapers and just picked some different random movies you can see over here is another different set so I picked these different random movies you know just some different ones and made these film strips now these film strips are PVC like I said and then basically if you look from the sides I have another PVC blocks in the back and this whole thing is basically two face taped so they stand off so it gives a little bit of dimension underneath in here is also this mirrored kind of anodized looking marbly look which is kind of cool and then these are the two shelves now I'll do a quick scan of my movies you know I do need to collect more movies I find myself definitely collecting more games and movies but I'll do a quick scan once in a while we'll get some movies basically what I like to do is I even go to Redbox, I'll rent a movie if I really like it and it's really good, then I'll purchase it. But it's pretty hard to buy all the movies and games that you want because between the two, that'd be all you spend your money on. Well, here's some more here. This Ninja Turtles was a really good movie. I didn't even open it yet. That was one of them that we watched. I had to have it and then I never actually opened that one. more down here these are all some of the animated I do like the animated movies um, I just look at it from an artistic point of view so it's kind of cool some more down here I have the Star Wars there I actually like to get that in blu-ray some couple more up here Lord of the Rings is another one. I'd like to get that complete set in Blu-ray. Some scary stuff. Jeepers Creepers. They were pretty funny. This is kind of a cool thing. When I first did the theater, I actually made these up. Um, and I sent them out to my friends, my nieces, my nephews, and I sent them in the mail. I'm like, oh man, did you hear about this new movie theater? They're like, no, no. It's like, yeah, it's down whatever my address is. And um, so that one is for adult and this is for child. So I don't know. It's something cool that I did that adds to the, uh, the look of the theater. These are some uh, Christmas movies. I'm a big outdoorsman, so these are some of my hunting movies. Again, these are some of my games. We got my Xbox One, 360 PS3 box, PS3 gun, the flashbacks Atari. These are some more movies. I don't know if I showed you. I think I showed you them already. Now here's my popcorn machine. This actually does the legitimate oil and popper. Just like in the arcade, you know, it's just a smaller version of it. Now this concession stand I made, this is made out of MDO. Um, and I sprayed it, it's got a real nice finish to it. I put the chrome film strip on it. It's got the kickboard on the bottom and it has a light. Um, the, the light is a battery, so it's actually dead right now. But then I got a clear plexiglass panel or shelf. And you could put the movie, you know, any kind of candy. We usually go to the dollar store when we're going to have a big party. And then on the back, I made it so that the slides. So you see, I got some different candies back here. So it slides and you can store stuff. I store popcorn stuff, whatever you want in here. So it's just kind of neat. And these doors are PVC. So from the back movie, this is looking at the whole theater. Now I have all these lights on a fader, which is pretty nice. So you just hit the button and they fade, fade right out. Just gone. 
Now I do have an app for my phone with this receiver and you can um, basically what you can do is you can control the volume you can control different settings with with that phone app and I can do away with some of these but this actually this is for this electronic marquee up here and this you know it's kind of neat because I show basically whatever movie we're gonna watch I put that on there um, just a kind of neat thing you can add different text you can do different colors you can do different things I think I bought this at like at a Sam's Club or a Costco's long long time ago pretty much that's it um, anybody has any questions I want to show you this this I got from a yard sale this is a Terminator poster which I thought was a cool addition to the game room and this back wall is all curtains now this was a garage so basically what I did is we closed in the door I I blocked and framed out the door so it's no longer a door I took the tracks off these are some other lights that I put up here so one shines here one shines on the movies and then the other one shines on the door everything's been painted black um, just to, to give it the dark effect there is no windows in this room whatsoever so it's completely dedicated obviously as a movie theater um, there's nothing else in here other than that's it and this will walk into my man cave and I obviously have a different video for that feel free to check that out look in my movies please subscribe comment if you have any questions feel free to ask and I'll answer anything that I can thank you very much for watching enjoy and see you on the next one